This is part two of me randomly vlogging because my son shattered his iPhone. So I went to the Apple store in Shibuya, but I got the appointment time wrong by two hours. So now I have to kill two hours in Shibuya alone, which is fine because I'm an extreme introvert and I like being alone. So anyways, I'm eating at this Korean restaurant that I randomly found in Shibuya and I'm eating the raw marinated shrimp with soup and rice and all the size. And you won't believe, you won't believe how much it costs for this whole thing. I ate everything and I get asked all the time if it's affordable to live in Tokyo and it's definitely affordable. All of this was 1,969 yen, which is like $12 US dollars. And yes, we have so many shops with weird names, but that's okay. Like we speak Japanese here. You know, once I saw this video of this interviewer asking this guy, like, why don't Japanese people speak English? And he was like, well, because we're Japanese. <laughs> and it's so true. Like we're Japanese. We don't have to speak English. Oh, by the way, this is the Shibuya Crossing, the famous one. And I I practically grew up here and if you want to go through a crowd and not bump into people all you have to do is look ahead of where you're going and people will actually make way for you you cannot make eye contact okay it works 99 percent of the time but the one percent of the time you bump into someone who's doing the exact same thing to do it anyways it works be a bad bitch don't be scared anyways i got the hell out of shibuya because i hate crowds and i only have like an hour and a half to go pick up the kids a lot of people ask me what it's like to live in Tokyo, what I do every day, and it must be nice that I live in Tokyo, but you know what guys, most of the days I just work out, go to the grocery store, run errands, pick up the kids, make dinner, and then film TikToks. Yeah, the only reason I decided to vlog today because it was a little bit more interesting than my daily routine. By the way, do you know who my absolute favorite lifestyle vlogger is? She's been my favorite vlogger for years now. All she does, I mean it in the best way possible, is travel eat go shopping and spend time with her family and friends like it's anna paul by the way oh these are my kids when they were little anyways i love anna paul my goal is to travel as much as she does and she also has this really sweet personality too like i can sense it from the screen anyways i was laying in bed scrolling on tiktok and you know these people who have like these perfect gadgets with their perfect organizers and everything i always watch these things but i could never be one of these people i would stress out so much i would go bald but that's why we have tiktok right we stalk everyone online and Anyways, this was the second time of the day where I got my time scheduling wrong and I forgot to calculate the fact that I had to go back to Shibuya to get my son's phone and then go pick up the kids so I rushed into my car and drove to Shibuya which I don't really like doing because none of the parking spots have space for my car but I had to so here is what it looks like to drive in Tokyo actually driving in Tokyo is not that bad because most of the people follow the rules and we're very big on rules and of course there's occasional assholes out there but anyways the streets are very narrow and complicated but if you have Google Maps it's totally fine I actually only started driving three years ago because you technically don't really need a car in Tokyo but it really helps if you have children but the price for parking in the city is insane once i had to park at this place for an emergency and it was 420 yen per 12 minutes like are you kidding me like 12 minutes who the fuck draws the line at 12 minutes like at least make it 15 or even 10 minutes it's more expensive but like make it 10 or 15 anyways i filmed myself driving because i thought you guys might want to see what it looks like but i think i filmed for too long and i don't know what to talk about anymore so um if you have any questions about living in tokyo um now's the time to ask Sorry, that was my phone. I dropped it. Oh, by the way, I said that people follow the rules in Japan, but if you're going to be driving in Tokyo, watch out for the cabs. They are nothing compared to the cabs in New York, but they will stop anywhere. And also, if you're the one stopping the cab, please don't stop it like in the middle of an intersection. Just walk a little bit and find a place where the cab can stop, okay? Please, please do that. Anyways, I'm almost at the Apple store. This is the third time today. Oh, by the way, the building that you see on the right side with the red strip, that's the Mujirushi store. I think that's the biggest one that has like six floors, but I've only been there like two times. I think everyone likes going there, so you should definitely check it out. Anyways, I got Yamato's phone. It's good as new. They fixed it in like an hour, which was really fast. And then I ran back into the car, got my kids, went home, changed into longer boots because I was freezing, and went to Blue Note to see my dad's favorite band. This is the second or third time watching them perform. My dad loves going to Blue Note with the whole family. So this is like our usual family time, get together time. The kids and I don't know their songs, but that's still okay. They were amazing. Our absolute favorite part of Blue Note is actually the food. I have been to a lot of venues, but this place has the best food. These are the famous swinging fries and the chicken wings were so good. We had these for the first time. Their menu changes a lot, so you might not find them when you go there. All of their salads are good. The main dish is good. Like everything is good. The only thing 
I don't like about it is the portion and it's not shareable because this is the whole portion. We have three pieces of chicken and as a family we have to order like three orders but again most people aren't here for the food they're here for the music so um, anyways they had this new drink called the coffee highball which is like coffee and whiskey and some soda. It was really good and then we all had some couscous and we listened to some good music and that was our day. Oh by the way in a lot of venues you're not supposed to film so we couldn't film any of the music. Okay thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed my vlog. Bye!